Hi everybody, um, this is Universal Sidechain here. Today uh, we're going to make um, some high sound from um, Skullex and the door, uh, breaking and sweat. Um, so um, it's pretty close, I think, that what I got. And um, with master subs and all this other stuff, um, it will sound really excellent. But right now, this is what I have. Rhythm isn't the same. I, I precise. Okay, uh, so it's a pretty easy uh, synth um, with not that much stuff on it. Um, so let's start immediately after this. <laughs> Um, so, I'm going to keep it down here because uh, I haven't remembered what I've done, so maybe I will try to help myself with this. So first things, you're gonna create a new combinator. Uh, rename it, maybe. There we go. Um, now you're going to open a Thor. Uh, make sure it's the initialized patch, then show programmer. Uh, first thing to do is to put the system all the way up. So we're going to need the three oscillators. So um, I have the analog oscillators here, a FM pair, and another analog oscillator. Um, so the first analog oscillator is going to be on the triangle wave because we do not want a sub bass really, but we want more harmonic sound. And uh, we're going to put the octave on too. Yep, two. Um, then uh, we're going to activate the uh, FM pair oscillators, put the carry on three, the mode on four, and put the octave on five, I think it was. Okay. And now activate the third os oscillator. Uh, put it on um, square mode and put the pulse wave oscillator uh, on 70, something like this. And put the octave on 5. Uh, now for the mixer, we're going to balance a little bit here uh, on 70 to hear more the FM pair. We're going to reduce a little bit here the oscillator level on minus 3.1 dB, I think. Yep, and um, we're going to increase a little bit the oscillator free level on minus 1.2 dB. Um, now, uh, what we're going to do first is to reduce here the level because it's going to saturate. Um, let's see what I have, okay. Um, and now we're going here to reduce the envelope to zero. We do not want the, um, the filter envelope to modify the filter. And we're going to put the filter frequency on more or less 8 kilohertz, something like this. Just to get um, all the sounds, but to, um, to cut the harsh sound, that, the harsh frequencies that we do not want. Uh, then go into the shaper, activate the soft clip, Put the drive on. I think on 37 it's already good, but you can reduce it a little bit, so let's do this. Okay, um, now um, activate the chorus. Put it, put the drive weight on um, 10 more or less. Just for some stereo feeling. And now we're going to activate the filter 3. Uh, on COM mode. Um, again, put the envelope all the way down. Um, we're going to put the resonance on more or less 20. Just to get a... I don't know why, but uh, by putting the resonance um, higher, you get rid of some low frequencies that we do not want for some high sound. And put the frequency on, well, 130 hertz, it's okay. Okay, now, um, 
I think that's it for the synth. Uh, if you want, you can um, play with the attack and the release. Uh, if you want more, um, more attack. If you want a horrible song. Let's play with this. And now what we're going to make is to create some distortion. So create a screen for distortion unit. Um, well, put it, I like the tube mode. Um, we're going to put it on more or less 45, 44. And put all the parameters all the way up. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is to create a equalizer to clean a little bit the sound. So activate the locker, the low shelf, and put the gain on more 7 dB just to get rid of some low frequencies that we do not want. Um, 8 dB, it's okay. And now activate the parameters, parameter 2. Uh, put the gain all the way up and we're going to play around to see where we can stop at more or less 2000 kilohertz. I think that 2000 kilohertz is the good frequency and now you're going to reduce the gain until more or less 10 dB. Okay, and put the Q on 1.8 to get a wide band. And now to get a little bit more um, harsh sound, to get more aggressive sounds, uh, what I recommend is to put the high shelf. Uh, put the Q on more or less uh, 170, 160, and put the gain on more or less 4.6 dB, 5 dB, and go a little bit further in the frequency just like this so with it and with default, default. And, and you can clearly hear that the sound is much more um audible much more um much more um how to say this uh, less muddy um so that's pretty cool i think so now for now, we're going to add a vocoder. Um, put it on equalizer mode 4 band. I like the 4 band. It gives it shapes really the sound. And um, we're going to put the shift on more or less what? Um, 18. Okay. You can you can see it's shaped the sound. Um, again, to reduce a little bit the bass, you do reduce a little bit that band. Not that much, but a little bit okay um, now we're going to create a unison again for some stereo feeling put it on four voice drive it on ten more or less not that much a little bit more yeah twelve okay and now we're going to create two um, digital reverb unit um, put this one on zero dry red so we can hear it. Um, we're going here to create a pan room. Um, uh, this means that it will create a kind of ping pong echo behind our song, um, which is really interesting, I think. So we're going uh, to reduce a little bit the size on more or less 20, not that much. Uh, put the DK more or less on minus 40 and the dam more or less all the way down put it on 12 turn and now put the dry wet on more or less 10 12 we do not want a long tail and that's a little bit too much put it on eight and reduce a little bit the d key okay that's good so now here um we do not want the hole, we're going to put a gated reverb. Uh, put the size more or less on minus 46, the decay on more or less minus 50, and the dam more or less all the way down on 8 more or less. And put the dry wet on 16, we don't need much more than this. It just gives something more to the sound and it cleans it up, I think. 
And now that all of this is done, we can add a compressor. So for the compression, what I've done is, um, is I've put the threshold on more or less tw minus 12 dB because it's, um, it's, um, a, a high vol, a high level sound. And I put the ratio more or less on seven, eight over one. Um, because I really wanted to make um, the wave of this sound like a block. Um, now, what I've done, I've put the attack on more or less 25. Um, so it has a quick attack. It doesn't, we don't, we do not have a like, um, you know, a pick and then a sound, uh, a constant sound. And I've put the release more or less on 250 milliseconds. Um, I think it's a good time for this, and I raise up the output gain on 3.8 dB. Now to be sure, I've had a limiter on it. I put the 4 milliseconds look ahead, and I put the gain on, the input gain on 1.5 dB. And that's it, you've got your Skrillex sound, guys. Have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to my Facebook or SoundCloud account as you want. It does really help. Um, so, after you've done everything, you can play around with that song. Uh, I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.